Welcome back to Booster 2000. Welcome back to an exciting day. Hit subscribe. <laughs> We interrupt our program. That's right. Today, this box and a lot of stuff is getting built into the engine. So that's right. James is bringing the engine down. It's been to the machine shop. It's been oversized. It's been honed. It's been cleaned. It's had the head skimmed, pressure tested. We need to build it back up. I had the clutch skimmed and refaced. I'll show you some pictures. But yeah, um, we're going to build this engine and it's going to be Booster 2000 and it's going to be insane. I am really excited, as you can tell. First job, we'll get this out of the garage, get us some space and uh, let's go from there. But first, let's have a quick recap, okay? So this car started off just as an N7A, naturally aspirated car, um, no turbo. Within 12 months of owning it, I done a full turbo conversion on it, a low boost one. I uh, had it set up and I got it to about 240 odd brake horsepower. I'll put up a clip now of me zooming past and stuff like that. Um, it was a good car, so if you were new to the channel, but go back and watch the videos. I've had some pressurising issues with it. Look, it's time to fully build this engine. It's done some miles. I've probably done like 15,000, 20,000 with a turbo. Um, the engine base had a few looks. So the car got featured in Fast Ford magazine, okay? I'll put up a picture here now and take a look at the engine bay. It's not great looking and looking back, it's disappointing. Um, who knows, we might get it back in the mag with more than the car. But this is the engine bay as current. So it's a much, much better, cooler looking engine bay. We've got those hoses to go on too. But yeah, we've got the Group NK9 or Group AK9. We've got the capture cam, we've got it in colour coded. We've got the turbo heat shield. If you see me on a show, tap that. You can tap into my socials. We've got these forged carbon. This was all done before in like um, a foil tip. Um, I had the uh, sound dead on there, taking out to clean it up. But yeah, it, um, it's a better looking bay than it ever was. Lots of custom stuff like this. Obviously, it's custom CNC built us um, aluminium. I had this done by Dave Lee and XYZ. Um, he also did these for me and the rear spoiler on the back. But yeah. It's very different to what it was. Okay, so now the car's out. Let's get some tunes. Look at that bad boy from a boot sale. And look at this old school relic. Come on. Oh yes, the vibes are on today and we are listening to a dreamscape and we are gonna build an engine. 90s, proper 90s. Everybody wants to come to a rave. Okay, so the car is out. Just like that, magic. And you see these parts over here. So as I'm waiting for James to pre sort in, we've got some stuff in here. We need a dash of paint. We've got all the parts, we've got the bottom end gasket set, multi layer seal head gasket set, the head gasket set itself. Chains, chains, bearings, bearings, um, springs, bearings. We've got thrust washers, James is bringing in head bowls. The pistons are coming back with the engine. And you've got the rods there. New water pump, and I have this. So an AN fitting with an 18 mil drill bit. So the last engine, I put a photo up now, had a oil sump return. Absolutely no problem at all, did the job. I just want something neater. Um, so I can drill this out now and put this in the car too, whilst I'm waiting for James. And then if I do sell the old engine or sell the complete turbo setup, it's all there ready to bolt on for the next person. Okay, so first of all, I piloted the whole of a 10 mil drill bit, and now I'm onto this massive bad boy. So I'm actually using a tiny bit, as you can see, literally tiny bit, this high temperature sealant on the inside and out, just to seal it. Also a tiny bit of thread lock. Okay, that's nice and neat. So we've got the AN fit in. It's the inside. And we've got the thread lock on there. Let that set, we'll clean this out. And that's done. If you look as well as positioned, okay, we're on the last one, it was down here. 
so the oil will be coming back in the sun. This will be dripping up the top. Um, the dipstick will come down here as well, so it's not interfering with that. Um, you can get like U connectors or like right angles, and basically it's just more practical. As well as if it leaks, it doesn't drop oil all the oil out because the plug will be at the bottom. It's more at the top, so it won't really leak now. So double-edged sword, even better. Also, I some weight in, it's freshened these up in some silver. There was never a plan to paint these, but why not? Why some weight in? One eternity later. So, yeah, James just turned up. Box being bored out there and honed. Yeah. He's had his okay. face on here. Pressure tested, skimmed. It's some pit in, it's been tested against the gasket, so all good. Guides are good, you said, yeah? Yeah. Happy sure. days. Nice and new, nice and fresh. There we are. So out of a car, as you can see the block, nice. And then the head, fresh out of the machine shop, nice and clean. Got all the studs, minus, we need one to go in there. And then let's get over to, we've got new core plugs too, courtesy of the garage or the machine shop. There's the flywheel that's been refaced, refaced and it's had new towels put in. Thrust bearings here or whatever, I don't know. And then, yeah, nice. We are laughing. And then, pistons are going today. Here we are. So I've blown the block out with the airline off the compressor just to make sure there's no like debris and stuff sitting in here. You can see it's nice and clean. We've got the engine up onto the engine stand and now we're starting to go through parts. I'll talk you through it as we go in. Right, so James is just cleaning out here now, just making sure everything is super duper clean and not contaminated. Um, we've got some grease, which we'll hold the thrust bearings on the side, and we're going to attach the main bearings in readiness. Okay, so James is just putting the main bearings in now, the crank is in, and doing the main caps. Obviously, we're oiling these up. A uh, little just gentle tap in, and then obviously we get these torqued down at the next stage. Nice and free. Just going to torque these down now. James is going to torque settings up, and we crank these down. Obviously, there we need to put the pickup and a baffle plate and stuff on. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much the bottom end kind of done then. And then obviously, we've got the ends and stuff put on, and we've got the cap uh, flick around, start building the top end up. Um, get pistons and wads and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we are starting to get somewhere amongst the thousands and thousands of boats we've got and parts. So yeah, all in a day's work. Fall over now. That's a boy. So the torque set, it was 66 to 77 foot pound of torque, I think we said, yeah. Um, so we've gone, yeah. so we've gone for a slap bang in the middle. Pretty big range, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uh, rather than snap anything, do you mean? So we haven't gone for the lowest and we haven't gone for the highest. We are in the middle, so we're going to be safe. Okay, right, so whilst we build in this bottom end back up, um, I read online about the oil um, pump, okay? And a pump, oh shit, is it? Ignore me, as I'll come out there now. But anyhow, right, um, this bit here is like a release valve. And what happens is that you're supposed to put Loctite in here. Obviously, it doesn't come from a factory like that. But if you don't put Loctite in here and this comes out, you will lose all the oil pressure. And it's obviously bottom end off job to do it again. Um, so simply you're going to take this out and put some Loctite in it now. So we have no issues in the future with this. Yeah, double checking these are the rods, these are the forge rods, and they've got the ARPL19 bolts. And then obviously then we've got the last uh, 86.5 bore. So standard bore is 86. So we've gone for slight over bore. Um yeah, and then obviously we've got the rings and some stuff down here. We're gonna get it. James is doing a bit of work on the oil pump now, just stripping it down and just checking it. As you can see right here, and then obviously we've got the Pistons in and bath the plate back in. So yeah, we're gonna clean this down, get some brake cleaner cleaner in here, wipe it all out. As you can see where I believe the header gone or it's been sitting, just water in the oil, 
we don't want that nonsense even though we are going to obviously put an oil in the car and then a flush after it obviously whatever we're running oil um might as well once it's off the card might as well just strip it down and check it's all in order why do things twice that's the boat i was talking about so we're not fancy enough to have a uh part to wash so obviously we put some thinners or white sprays through here we let it soak and we've cleaned this out of an airline and yeah this has come up really well 10 out of 10. next job for me tightening chain oil pump chain soak using oil and the tap bit whilst james takes a look at the timing as you can see the oil pump is in now can't go any further really with chains until we've got them soaked out for 30 minutes so we're going to do this so yeah it is absolutely ever ending and it is like a sauna sitting in here today hot, <laughs> hot anybody very warm <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is the old guide and you can see it's worn spares now for your engine and this is the new one gotta keep this metal part and again from German four part come from Burton Power this is the new replacement one and rock down here versus the one that's worn by here i can't see it doing any significant damage i put, put this one back on but we're going all out and we've got that new genuine ford part so we are so we put in the top pulleys on now and the chain guide bottom guide bottom guide being corrected <laughs> <laughs> james is the engine builder not me to me i'm just one oh i had to turn my phone upside down just now to read the diagram <laughs> <laughs> i can't talk but uh, yeah, FYI, one absolute scummy job. <laughs> Into the trash. Your one was trash as well, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, we've got new seals to go on these now. Right, so we're onto the head at the moment and um, we're gonna block a rest. So we've checked all the valves are lapped nice. The guy said obviously I seat is perfect. Um James obviously has got his um do you, do you want to explain James? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> well starstruck. Um, yeah, just when the springs in, basically, got to compress them down. Um, put the top, top hat on, compress them. <laughs> put a seat in first, and is it? Seat, seal, spring, compressor spring, top hat on, put the collets in, release the tension, and then do that 16 more times. <laughs> Happy days. And then we've done it. Well, we're not going to if you're looking here, there's two little collets, so they're, they're together in there at the moment. They're two separate parts, and that's what holds it together. And these are the Piper upgraded springs. These are the old Ford General Springs now. Uh, put to one side. I, mean, I can see better now. So, yeah, so there's two different collets in there. Make sure you don't lose any of your stuff. Yeah. There you go. So, you kind of get the idea. So, I'm going to leave James to do that now. It's going to take some time. It's quite a timely process. Um, yeah, and fingers crossed, we'll have his head done in no time. I wish. And then obviously we get back on to get the rods and pistons. So obviously we've got to put the rings on the pistons, measure them, and which are over there, get out on it. And it is pretty much end together. And obviously just with the timing, etc. And obviously putting the well, putting the head on, etc. I kind of stuff talking like that. We'll go through a process of you. But this is just a snapshot to put our engine together and you can see what we bought and everything that has gone into it. Okay, so don't forget hit sub, okay? And once you've done that. Hit the like and enable notifications and then you can follow the journey and watch all the videos. So big shout out and thanks for watching this video. Okay, so a bit about the channel, a bit about me. My name's Dan Pierce and we built this car, Boosted 2000. It's an Escort Cosworth replica. We're going to get it to a good mid 300 to 400 brake horsepower. That's the plan. There is an engine in situ currently being rebuilt, okay? Fully forged, big power. Um, but I can't do that on my own. I need your help, okay? So this isn't a bag or anything, but I'm trying to give you something back as well, because like you give me a lot watching the channel, being now monetized. These t-shirts, a lot of people have asked about them. So if you'd like one of these t-shirts, okay, you can hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram is DeathBoxDan. I will attach that right now. Um, yeah, these t-shirts are a heavy cotton guild hand t-shirt, okay? And a hand screen printed by myself using a water-based ink, okay? I gave you a picture of one of these on a car now, but yeah, it's going to help me with the engine, okay? So if you see me at a show, they are £12, okay? If you want one posted in the UK, it is £13. Sorry, I'm lying. Ignore me. It is £12 at a show, £15 posted, okay? That is an absolute bargain for high quality. 
it could be gym wear, it could be rags for the garage, or it could be just because it's got a cozy on it. But yeah, anyhow, all the help is massively appreciated. Let me show you quickly and I'll get you back to this video. Okay, all t-shirts are hand screened and to order. This is the t-shirt off my very, very back right now. These tees are top quality and you are helping me, helping me on my journey. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. Ignore me now, get back to watch a rest and I'll see you soon. So if you follow right now, so what happens is it's very similar to like a brake compressor tool, or like a piston one. So we're pushing this down, it's compressing the spring down. Again, obviously these springs are, well, there's a lot more tension on these than they were standard because they're high rate. Um, and then we drop the, oh Jesus, what are you called? The collets in and then let it go and it springs up and it holds. That's a theory, isn't it? Yeah, that's a theory. We won't show you that, we'll just show you the complete thing. We don't want to uh, bore you. Here we are, so James has, um, let me turn this music down, two seconds. Let's give a rave off, isn't it? Giving James an education. So yeah, so he's doing the exhaust ones now, so we're flying through these. Intake ones. Oh, intake ones, we've done the exhaust. But whilst you're doing that, I'm scotching these up ready to blast them in some black. Um, just to make them look a little bit fresher. Because James told me his look rusty on the inside. And I'm not going to give everyone the pleasure of saying my car is rusty. And do you know why that is? Because fiberglass doesn't rust. <laughs> okay, so some of you may not care, but we have a casualty. But is broken and destroyed forever. So that piece of uh, memorabilia from 1994 is uh, is now just a bit of wall art. Okay, so right, so we're on to the rings. But again, this is above my pay grade. This is where James is on the case. So he's described to me that on here, we've got the lower one, which is like a sandwich one with this kind of wavy thing in the middle, talking in Dan terms. We've got two other rings then, a larger one and a smaller one in thickness. Yeah. We've put them down the bow and we've checked against obviously so many millithal what we're going to go for. Uh, we need to make sure every one of them is exactly the same. Bit of a painstaking process, but it'll be done in no time, I'm sure. And James knows exactly what he's doing. Um, but yeah, until we've done that, we've got the rings on. We can't get up the pistons on, obviously. We'll split the pistons, uh, sorry, the rods. Uh, we'll get them on the crank, flip the engine around and get them on. So here there in the background, James is just filing down some of the rings. Um, don't underestimate the amount of work it goes into putting one of these engines back together. It's not like the be all end all and the end of the world. It's not for like the biggest task ever, but it's also not the most simplest task, I suppose, when it's been completely redone. Um, yeah, but we are on a mission and we are going to get this done. Um, like the other days, it's not going to be done within the next day. Um, and it will be a part two, but we will keep you going as long as we can on this one right now. And our plan is hopefully that we get all these pistons done at least. So there are, so there's the rings on. And um, something James did point out to share with me, which I'll share with you guys, that some of them say N, which is north facing upwards. Oh, yeah. uh, because underneath, if you turn it around, there's a bit of like, um, what's it, it's not a gully, is it? It's like uh, a chamfer, I think they call it. There you are, so it's got a slight lip on it to stop the oil coming up. Is there the oil there? Uh, it? Yeah, it just yeah. helps create a better seal. I don't know if the end means north, but to me it does. There we are. Which makes sense to me. So, so yeah, so these are all done now. Um, well, this one is done. Yeah. Um, but you can see they all fit in nicely. We obviously, we'll compress the rings now and get them in the bows. We'll do that yes. later. We've got another three to do now. But yeah, we're coming on. And like I said, I hope you're enjoying the build um, because we are showing you what, what actually happened. And it's not just a case of a car on a dyno and sending it. This is actually building the car, what parts you need, how long it takes in real time. So, so yeah. This is how you can send it. Yeah, so this is how you can send as James said. And it's how James sends us all the time. <laughs> James is going all out in this as well, so he's going to outdo me. So I'll have like 600 brake capability of a car, about 400 brake horsepower or turbo capacity. This guy's going to the moon and back. I think he's got 1,000 brake in his. <laughs> but yeah, big things come in and... Uh, I'm sure you'll see more of it, more of it on the channel in the future. Three lines on <laughs> so yeah, so with custom parts, okay, right? So I want to show you this. So take a look at the inside of this piston. I'll flip you around right now. Very difficult to see, but if you look on the right hand side by there, there's lips, okay? And the machining isn't 100% inside versus how nice and smooth that is. Um, that area is a bit rough. So 
there is a little bit of material we have got to take off. Okay, so this is slowing us down. But we want to do this properly, so we're going to do this now and let it slow us down because we won't be going slow in the future. Right, so we failed. <laughs> Um, it's because James went for McDonald's this morning apparently, he's, yeah. now, he's, he's now confessed, he was going to get a double sausage egg McMuffin breakfast meal but he didn't get it until 12.30 so he's meant to be at 10, so that's bad, a big mark, isn't he? he has a big mac yeah. instead, so, so he, as long as he's eating that's all right, I don't have to feed him, so, <laughs> so yeah we failed, um, but look, we haven't failed okay right, so we've done a massive, massive amount of work, um, if we didn't have to shave down the sides of the inside of the pistons for rods and all that kind of mess and around and stuff like that, Rebuilding ahead itself, putting all those things back together is work within itself. Do you know I mean? Um, I'm, I'm chuffed on how much we've achieved in one day. We've still got to obviously put the head on now. We've got to put the pistons and rods in. We've got to measure three more of the pistons to do the rings. Um, we've got to be external kind of stuff like water pump and stuff, thermostat and stuff to fit. But we've got a sump to put on and the battery plate. But literally, we've got little things, whack a head on and stuff, and talk that down. That's not a great amount of work, so there will be another video to follow. And then from there onwards, it's going to be literally fitting a car, engine to a car, fitting turbo, fitting injectors, all that kind of stuff. Maybe a bit of road live mapping. But yeah, stay tuned, and I will see you on the next video. Big shout out to James for helping again, and big shout out to Lens or Lions. I'll put a picture up now. From Brynamau, is it is how you say it? Brynamau. Brynamau up in the valleys. But, uh, so that's the machine shop that done all the work in the engine for us. So big thanks to you, we appreciate it. Hit them up, the Facebook link is up there. Um, they're on Google too as well. Well known, mature people, great. Um, so yeah, anyhow, I'll see you on the next one.